Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a super easy way to add a background image or a graphic behind text. I don't know why I didn't know this before, but it is so much easier than I thought. So let's get started. You're going to go to file and either open a new template or a new artboard, whichever one you usually do. For us, we use a 48 by 48 artboard every time for our stickers. That's because our printer is 48 inches that we can print through. So this way we can load it up as much as we want. So I'm going to go ahead and add text and let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, highlight it. I'm going to type what I want to put. So I'm going to put Sierra stickers and I'm going to go over to our character area and select the font that I want. Now, one of my favorite fonts is this autumn and November. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's really good to have thicker text because the thicker it is, the easier you can see the background image in it. You can do thin text, but you really can't see it. So I like this very thick makes it just makes it easier so you can see the background. So we're going to select our text that we want the image to be behind. And over here, there's this little tool and it's called draw inside. You can do shift D and you're going to select that. And you're going to have these little like crop marks that go around the text that you're going to put a background behind. Um, any other text would not be included. So we're going to place our image. Now I found this image off of just Google. I really like the rainbow colors. I thought that it would show well. So I'm going to just place it in my artboard and I'm going to kind of um, draw it out so it takes up as much space as I want. Now I really like the blues and purple, so I'm going to adjust it so that way you can really see those colors like that. That looks good. Okay, so now we've got our background behind our text, but you can still see these little black little marks. Um, you can either do this beforehand or after by creating outlines. You can remove that. I'm going to show you how to do it after. So you're just going to select your text one more time. Come over here to your layers. You can select your text only. So there's our image behind it. Select the text, create outlines and boom, your image is now solid and there's no black marks anymore and you can see this. Now you can do any background you want behind this. Um, I just picked this really colorful one to show you what it would look like with a rainbow behind. If this was helpful for you and you learned something new, give me a like, comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback.